All right, guys, so I'm going to be showing you how the new variable system works in Discord Box Studio 1.0. Uh, so to do that, I'll just make it a quick command, call it tutorial, and then I'll create a send message response. So I'll connect that to the command. And then if I open this response right away, you'll notice that uh, this window looks quite a bit different than it did previously. You'll notice that there's now these insert variable buttons next to the field. And then there's also a section down here prompting you to save this message to a variable. So I'll start with the insert variable buttons. This is basically a way to insert variables more easily into your responses. Uh, previously, you'll know that you would reference your variables using uh, two percent signs. So if I had a variable, I would do something like this to reference it. Uh, that's still valid if you want to do that, but there's uh, you can also make use of this new system. Uh, so if I go to insert variable, and then under message variables, there's some default options here that DBS provides you. So this second option here is for the command channel. So once I select that. Uh, down at the bottom, you'll see that I have some options now for this. So I can mention this channel, I can get the ID, the name, or whatever fields are associated with this variable. Um, and you can see that's different, for example, for the command author, because these are user fields, which are different than channel fields. So since I'm choosing the channel I want this message to go to, I'll go ahead and insert the command channel ID. So if I click insert, you can see that that automatically gets populated into the channel field um, and, that's, and that's set to go. Um, so enter channel name or ID, so that'll be good to go. I could have also used the name field there if I had wanted to. And then in the response message text, I'll just put something like, this is a test message for 1.0. Now, moving on to this bottom section, you can see we have a field that says save this message to variable with name, and then we can choose what type of variable we want to save it to. So what this is basically doing is it's going to save this message that's being sent um, in real time so that we can then access this message as a variable in further responses. So for example, if I save this as test message, and then I'll choose, I guess, server for now. So there's three new variable types in 1.0. Temporary is basically what you know to be uh, how variables worked previously in DBS. So that is basically they're available while the bot's running. They're only available in the server that the command or event was fired in. Now we have two new options as well server and global variables so server variables are much like temporary variables they're per server but the difference is that they're saved to file so when the bot is stopped and then started again these variables will still exist and then global is just like server in that they're saved to file and are persistent except that they can be accessed from any server that the bot is uh, is in so I'll choose server for now and then save that. And then I'm just going to add another message. And what I'm doing with this one is showing info about that test message that I just created. So I'll show, I'll call this one a uh, show test message info. And then I'll go ahead and connect that to test. Now, if I open this up and I come to the response message text and I insert a variable, uh, in the your variables tab, which is all the variables that you have saved in the commands page, I can now see I have a, the option to access that test message variable that I just created. So uh, just as an example, I'll go ahead and insert the author tag. So that's going to show the tag of the user who called this command. So I'll just say author tag colon and then that will insert the tag and you can also if you want to you can insert uh, multiple variables if it's a response or if it's a field that uh, is conducive to having more than one variable and then for the channel once again i'm just going to use command channel and we'll take the id for that 
and then I can save that. We should be good to go. I'll make sure the bot is running. And then if I hop over into Discord and call that tutorial command, you can see we get the first message, this is a test message, and then we get that second message which shows my tag, uh, or rather the author of this message, which is the bot, and it's the tag um, for the bot user then. So this is really just a simple overview of how the new variable system works. Um, you won't see this save to variable section on every response type, and that's simply because it's not applicable to every response type. Uh, so things where it is applicable are like when you create a new channel, you can also save that to a variable. If you add a role to the server, you can save that to a variable. And then those will have the, uh, will have specific fields for whatever that variable type is. So if, if you've added a role and you've saved that to a variable, it'll have things like uh, the role color, the role position, whereas messages don't have, have that information. Um, yeah, so that's basically it for the new variable system. I think it makes uh, inserting variables a lot easier. And once again, if you want to continue to use this percent notation for your variables, you can do so. Um, that will automatically convert them to the temp vars category. Uh, and, and if you have existing, existing variables, they will automatically uh, default to being temp variables if you haven't specified otherwise. Uh, so feel free to ask questions in the Discord if you need help with this stuff, uh, but hopefully this makes your life easier when you're using variables uh, in DBS.